Hey guys and welcome to FIFA 13 Squad Builder with me FIFA Vic. Today we are knocking up a Liga do Brazil team and I've gone with 4-2-3-1 because they have some of the most amazing centre attacking midfielders you have ever seen and uh, we'll start off up top. Uh, Forlan, Diego Forlan from BBVA to Liga do Brazil this year. Five star weak foot, awesome finisher guys, 84 shooting, very strong and good in the air as well. And uh, he just finishes the attacks with a plum, guys. Uh, Rafael Sobis, FIFA legend, still in the game, still five star skills, four star weak foot, eighty ish pace, and uh, does an excellent, excellent job in that role as well. On the left hand side, I've got Carlos Alberto, another FIFA legend. He was a silver last year, five star skills this year, and uh, a beast beast long shot on the guy as well as being quite strong and uh, yeah the best finishing center attacking mid you can get on the other side we've got wellington nem he is just pace guys left footed on that far right hand side and absolute rocket ship 91 pace very good at dribbling as well so he keeps it close to him as well as zooming around down this end we've got paulinho he is um, an 80 pace centre defensive mid and he just charges around like a nine year old tackling everyone. He is in there strictly for business guys, strictly for defensive duty. On the other side though we've got Janinho who is a luxury player guys. 90 penalty, 90 free kick accuracy, um, 84 passing, 80 something shooting. I, he was converted to centre defensive mid from normal centre mid. And uh, does a lovely job in there. Lovely passing, shooting and uh, free kicks and stuff. On the right I've got Fusil. Um, he's the highest rated right back I could find in uh, in Liga do Brazil. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I couldn't find anyone better and that's why he's there. On this side we've got Victorino. There's a couple of choices but I went with Victorino because he's got 74 pace and uh, pretty good stats. Um, all in all, for a 76 rated centre back who's non shiny. Um, we've got Dede on this side. Dede, most expensive player by far. 81 pace centre back, strong as an ox. One of the best centre backs in the game, guys, and that is why he cost me 9k. I think since I got him, he's gone down to about 7k. But um, worth every penny, guys. He's worth half of the price of this team, but he makes this team. At left back, we've gone and cheated. We've got a Porto left back who's Brazilian, so he's still got 100 chemistry with everyone. Still got 9 chemistry, but um, he's not actually from Liga do Brazil. I couldn't find a gold Liga do Brazil left back, so I've put him in, and he still has loads of chemistry. So no problems there. Better to cheat than to add a silver and ruin our gold team. In net, I've gone with Jefferson. I genuinely think he's the best um, goalkeeper you can get in uh, Liga do Brazil. He just seems so solid for me. And, um, yeah, no complaints. I really like him. Um, he's come down in price as well. You can get him for 1.5k now if you shop around in open bids. And uh, that is the team, guys. I should tell you as well, everyone's got 9 chemistry. There's a little bug here. If you swap these around and swap them back again, everyone's got 9. I don't know why FIFA 13 does that. But um, I'll tell you straight up, guys, because I played with this team for quite a little bit, I got promoted into Division 1 with this team. And um, I brought in some substitutes as well. So you will also see goals from Lucas, the centre attacking mid with 90 pace. And you will see goals from Ronaldinho as well. Um, if you are a lover of pace, guys, this is still the right formation for you. You can swap players around. If you put in Wellington Nem on one cam side and Lucas on the other cam instead of Carlos Alberto then it is still rapid, guys. It's a very rapid team. You've got two centre-attacking mids, both over 90 pace there, if you do that. Um, I liked Carlos Alberto because I liked his five-star skills and I liked his strength and all that sort of stuff. Ronaldinho popping up here. He has still got five-star skills, guys. He cost me 4K. Um, the team in total is about a 20K team. Um, adding these substitutes, you're probably looking at 30K once you've got Lucas and Ronaldinho. And uh, I bought a centre-back as well, a uh, Riva, who's pretty good, although not the quickest. Um, yeah, so the team has played great, great, great. 
Um, it depends how you want to do it, obviously, because a lot of the guys, the best thing about a lot of the players is their skill. Janino showing his finishing right there. So refreshing to have a centre defensive mid with that level of shooting ability. Um, and obviously free kicks and penalties as well. But uh, it depends how you want to do it, guys. A lot of the best thing about a lot of these players is the skill moves. So if you're not doing a lot of skill moves, then you're not going to get the best out of this. You're not going to get the most out of this team at all. Um, but uh, if you do do skill moves, then I don't think you should really be looking further than Liga do Brazil. That is where so many of the skillers are. And uh, feel free to turn it into a little hybrid. But if you're not, if you're doing a skill team, you're looking at Brazil, or you are looking at a Liga do Brazil. So that is that, guys. Let me know how you would change this team. Obviously, you could slide in Neymar, um, who's at Santos, I believe. So, obviously, you could slide him in if you have the coins. But I think he's about 75 to 100k or something like that. So, out of the range of this team. I've been Vic. Cheers, guys.